Hi, this is Kelly and Kim. Welcome to the skinny. Um, we have a lot to talk about. Since yeah. we weren't here last week, we have a fair amount we to, got talk about. to talk about. So let's dive in. Oh. I have to say, two weeks ago, I did not weigh in. I had a 5K race. Our family did a 5K race for our great my great nephew, James, who has epilepsy. He was so funny and cute. He ran pretty much half the thing we were trying to keep up with him and the other part he was in the stroller so he 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 had a great time and it was awesome for our family to and friends to to go out and support him so what happened at the scale last this yesterday. past week yesterday was i lost 0.4 yay which you know i was uh, uber excited because i mean it, it's fine you know it's it was i like when the numbers move very little like yes. whether it's down or up it's just very little so i'm down actually at my lowest of my maintenance weight which is 134.2 um i'm a skosh under it but it's not significant um i'd be happy you can be under on if you're on maintenance you can be under just not over, significantly over is, under yeah and over is the biggest concern right. obviously and you know it's a 134 to 135 i feel like is a good space for me i feel happy and comfortable there yeah so i'd be just it's happy. where you like to hang. It's where I like to be. So Close in that respect, good. doing doing really well. Um, wow. Where to start? I've yeah, had, you had that crazy. Had weeks. a rough couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, my well, actually, we've had a rough month in general. We've had two deaths. Um, people that we know. But Saturday, last Saturday, I did go to the meeting and wait in early. I had a funeral that day. My boss died. Month the following that Monday. And um, it was, unex well, kind of unexpected, but not. Um, he was diagnosed with panc pancreatic cancer in February, and um, it was pretty fast. Um, yeah. So it was rough, um, rough for, for our office, and because we're small, and um, it's tough. And I didn't struggle with food. Yeah. Um, food was food. I mean, it was what it always is. Um, but it, emotionally, it was tough yeah. um, because this is a person who was really supportive of mm -hmm. me doing this right. and saw me and worked with me at my my highest one of my highest weights, yeah. um, and so knew when I started. Yeah. And he was the first person I texted when I hit my hundred pounds. I sat down after I weighed in, and he was literally the first person I texted um, because I was so excited and I knew he would be too. Mm -hmm. And he was like he was telling everybody at the office after that. So he was I knew he was proud and I knew he was so excited for me. Yeah. Um, so it was tough. And so I weighed in Saturday that last morning. Week. Yeah, last Saturday, the morning of that um, funeral. And I gained 3.4, which was a complete and yeah. utter shocker. I tracked my week. I didn't stop tracking. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. Yeah. There was no significant, as far as food, there was no, yeah. nothing. There's no cupcakes. There yeah. was nothing, you know. So I sat down and I thought, I can't control my body. Yeah. I can't control all the emotions and what's going on. I can't I let can't, it go. I can't do it. So I'm just going to let it go and let it be and just kind of see what happens the following. Just keep doing what I'm doing. Keep yeah. working my week. And I did. Um, and yesterday I lost 2.8. So mm -hmm. obviously something crazy going on. So, because this week wasn't a whole lot different than the last as far as food. Right. Um, so I felt really good about that. So I'm a pound from my 110. So my goal was really to push hard for that. Um, do it for Barney. Yeah. Do, do you give, hit, hit, that that hit, that, hit that 110 um, down and um, forge ahead toward goal. And so here we are. It's just been a really, it's been really emotional. So well, tough, another tough, thing tough. we've been doing this past week and a half is yes. we've both cut out or lowered significantly diet soda. Yes. If I've spent, I'm not going to belabor this, we'll talk about it as the weeks go, but I've been having upset stomach every day and I know it's because I'm ingesting way too much diet soda. So now it's, I'm either zero during a day. I pretty much went cold turkey for a week. Now I'm like, I have one maybe at dinner time and that's it. So my goal is to be out without it. Well, and since, uh, gosh, since all last week and the Wednesday before-ish, like a week and a half, I, I had three. Yeah. So I'm trying to really kind of work on it with Kelly too. I love she, it. She started doing it before she told me, like days yeah. before she even told me. So I jumped on the bandwagon and I thought, I, you know, I, I, I'm fine with that. Let's try it. I was going to wait till Gold to do it, but she's doing it. So I'm not going to like yeah. sit there and like pat right the now, back in front of right her. Right now so. it's my cake. It's, it, I miss it so much. I miss it, it, it that bad. It is tough. I, I mean, it's, it's not impossible. It's not. It's, I don't feel like this no. is like But if I were fine. fine. I'll, I'll make the comparison to, 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 to make this easier to understand how hard this is for me. If I were on death row and they said to me, 
what do you want do you want you get a choice you can get a piece of cake or you can have a mellow yellow zero right now with how hard this is for me i take the mellow yellow zero now later once i've conquered this i'd probably go with the cake but right now i'm jonesing I love, <laughs> I love the bubbles i love everything about it and i'm uber addicted and i'm ingesting way more than i should be so i'm taking the cake just saying yeah not right now that's not i mean it's it's not it's it's not fun it but sucks. It's, okay. it's hard. Here's the thing. I like unsweetened iced tea. She really doesn't. No, I'm very. I so do love. Gives her a little. I hard, do like some. Uns, I there are some teas I love. It's just I'm very hey, picky I about gotta them. I gotta say, I'm very picky. Panera has a plum ginger hibiscus tea. Delicious. It's zero calories right now. But delicious. It's delicious. It is. I I love flavor teas. So and that's. I, Plum, you know who else has a good tea? Hibiscus. What, what, what was the oh, Panera has a good iced tea? That's it. They will the yeah, regular ice, unsweet. The regular really unsweet is good too. But so is that well, some some but people just don't have a good tea. I'm gonna tell you they have like a thing in our we have a bar in ours of like a set of like a bunch of different teas. There's calories to some of them. Yeah. So look at them before you yeah fill up. So we're gonna move on and we're gonna briefly talk about. Um, Something Kim posted on her Instagram yeah. it was a book she started, and it sparked some of um, some, some things from the past and, and some, some discussion. Eye-opening thing. It has. It's it's it sparked a little bit of discussion about our past with Weight Watchers, mm -hmm. and so I'll just let you take that. I this book came up in my feed, my library feed, and it's hard to get ebooks. So because I'm a seven-week waiting list. Heck no. We have great libraries here, by the way. Cincinnati has like. Wonderful libraries. Wonderful. One in every neighborhood. Just about. And so I thought, I'm going to see if I can find the actual book on the shelf. Sure enough, I did. So I put it on hold. It's called How to Get Shit Done. Well, and with a title like that, Kim loves to yes. get stuff done. So. I, I, I like to find, it's by Erin Falconer. She also has a blog called Pick thebrain.com yeah. um I, I always look for ways to be more productive with my time shocker um, i know <laughs> well if i'm doing something i want to do it in the most efficient quickest way possible so i can have more free time well and you want to do I'm about free time. i think this book is is it's very interesting she's reading some of it out loud to me yes. we're gonna learn a lot she's very early into I'm the very book. early in but she she but, stops you as you're in and says do these tasks do this task so here's these questions she had to answer and one of them really sparked conversation for us one of them was a big fat wow so let me pull it right up here because i gotta i gotta get it because i i have to look see you get this long thing of questions and she has to ask you to get a piece of paper and write, write the down. answers um, as you're going along, don't read and go back. So if you decide to get the book, don't read it and then go back and do the task. Do them as she goes because they help you later. Yeah. According to what she says. One of the questions was, what makes you want to quit? Well, my response immediately I wrote down was when it's something I don't want to do. Now in the past, I might've said, mm -hmm. um, I just wouldn't be good at it or... I don't like stuff like that. I'd be afraid or, to You'd always have it. an excuse, you yeah. know, and versus... That's why, I, yeah. I don't want to do just it. Just I don't want to do it. At this age in my life, I'm like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I think, I'm not. I think when you get to a certain age, you tend, not. To, you tend to be more honest with... Yes and no's. Yeah, I just don't want to do that. And you think, at I this do. age, I've earned that right to just go, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> There's some things I don't but have to do. It made us think about all the times we yeah. tried Weight Watchers in the past. Mm -hmm. And... So in, in comparison, because you know, well, sit down first, get a piece of paper, yeah. write down what makes you quit. Yeah. Answer the question. Well, because you know, with this new makes journey, this last quit. time we went, we went into it with complete honesty with ourselves saying we are, we are not going to self, we are going to be completely honest with what we're doing, why we're doing and it, how we we're doing it. And we did go in saying we both really are committed. We're committed. We both, that we both yeah. felt that. In the past we would say we didn't we realized we didn't really want to do it we, we felt like we should, had or should, should do, do it. it and we weren't open if we'd been honest with ourselves and said yeah. i don't really want to do not this now it's not time i'm not doing it but well maybe we would have said i don't want to do this but oh. i'm open to, to, just trying. to trying it truly giving it a try versus sabotaging so, myself so we never way. really gave it a try we would sabotage ourselves, and then we'd be Before over we with. even tried and there was like <laughs> this doesn't work 
I mean, there was no, like, no self-discovery. No. There was no, none of that. So, of course, no. we quit. Yeah. Because we really hadn't figured out that we really didn't want to do it. So, maybe if I thought, well, maybe I Would you not... really deep down wanted to do it? But, yes. But there's, there's that, the stuff that was higher was, I don't really want to do this, but... So, so I'll, I'll self-sabotage just... myself so I didn't say I failed. Until, it just didn't It doesn't work. work, and so I quit. Yeah. So, you know, ask yourself if you're struggling. Yeah. And you're wanting to quit. Ask yourself... What makes you quit when you're, when, in just in general, in general, what makes you want to quit something? Yeah. Ask yourself that question. Um, if you find out because it's something you really don't want to do, maybe ask yourself, say, well, is it something I really should do for myself? And if the answer is yes, yes. maybe be, say to yourself, I'm, I'm going to be open. open to this. I'm going to give it, I'm going to try. You're being honest. With my, I'm going to try, I'm going to do everything I need to do to be successful. I'm going to be open to it. And I'm going to commit to maybe commit four weeks. And then I'm going to, hopefully, you're going to see the success and results mm -hmm. from that. And that will just motivate you and really, truly make you see that yeah. you can do so this. Give not just that I time. want to, but I can do this. There's yeah. a lot of power in that. So give yourself time not to self-sabotage by being honest yeah. about it. Yeah. Because then maybe you'll decide you don't really want to quit. So, and you may decide you want to do it. So ask yourself those questions, figure yep. that out if you're struggling and see if that's where, Oops, knowledge, I'm sorry, I'm getting warm. knowledge is power. Warm. It really, it really is. It's, it is, it's, it's made the difference. I think the biggest thing, if you ask me what's the number one thing mm -hmm. that made it different this time and that made our, our, this journey successful for us. And I would say honesty. I agree. I agree. Complete I agree. honesty with ourselves. With ourselves. Absolutely. That there's you can't beat that in, and with going anything. in and going in with actual actual true commitment. Yeah, going yeah we both truly really want this. Here's the guidelines. Um, did I go in thinking there's a chance I can't do this? Sure, sure. There but, was there, but there was I'm going to but give not, it my all. But not trying was an, not an option. We yeah. were going to try it and try it. I'm really gonna give it my all with guidelines. Yes. When you find you're eking outside the guidelines, why are you doing that? Is it self sabotage? Yeah. Or but and here's the thing, you know, we're we're always honest with ourselves to the point of if let's take self sabotage. Let's you could, this could be a self sabotage or it could be a choice. Yes. I'm gonna self sabotage myself by um, saying, well, it was their birthday. I felt bad if I didn't celebrate with a piece of cake. Instead of doing that and saying that, say, oh, I want a piece of cake. I'm having a piece of cake. And I'm gonna make it work. And I'm gonna make it work. Or I'm gonna take the weight gain and just get back on track the next day. Next meal. To me, there's more power in this mm -hmm. than kind of being like, well, it's their birthday. I feel bad not having a piece of cake, and I'm just gonna have a piece of cake, and then maybe. Then I think I think those feelings can might even because it makes you feel bad. You feel bad that you might have another piece of cake. You feel Frankly. bad about yourself. I, I you feel I, like you failed. Yes. And if you choose it, you're like, I'm choosing that. Be and I'm willing to pay yourself. the consequences or I'm going to make it work well, whichever I can do. I'm going to yeah. make one or two things happen. I'm going to make it work in the week or I'm going to, if it's too late to really make it work because it's the end of the week and I'm weighing in tomorrow, then I'm going to pay whatever consequence there is the next day and then just move on. Yeah. Honesty is like, it's, it's, it's the way to be, man. It's powerful. Yeah. You know, because sometimes I'll get up on a Saturday morning and say, it's early and I'm thinking, I don't want to go today. I, I, because it's crappy out and it's cold, but I'm going anyway. <laughs> I, and I make myself go, even though I say to myself, I don't want to go, but deep down, I know I you really do, do want to go. You wanted, you really do I don't want, go. What I don't want is it's to get out in the cold. Don't but I, in, again, honesty, I don't really think about it. What don't you really want to do? I don't really want to get out in the cold, but I really do want to go to see my mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like you can get, get to the core of you know, when I don't want to do yeah. something, I so generally don't. Maybe your self-sabotage really. is that you, it's not something you're really committing to, which be on, if you're honest with yourself, you might be able to turn it around. Yep. So be honest with yourself. Ask yourself some questions. Um, and maybe pick this book up just if not to see if it kind of helps you out. Yeah. Um, just for that purpose, let alone, um, maybe it'll help you get yourself together. Yeah. I'm hoping it'll help get me more productive. Well, we talked about telling you guys that we were going to share our food. Yes. Food. So we are, we are doing a weekday meal, smart points and freestyle. So because we're both, I'm double tracking. Me too. Well, and, I'm, well, I'm not double tracking, but I double track for this. Um, and if we're um, also going to give you a weekend meal, right? Uh, or we, a day, food day, because my Cause my different. Yes. They are now my maintenance is um, points are 26 SPs. That's my maintenance. That's your freestyle points. Yes. Yes. My freestyle points are 26. Yeah. 26. Yes. So now so you're different because obviously I'm the 23. Right. And she's got the 26 because she's the, got extra. The funny part 
is all of both my days, they count as 26 SPs, SPs which is my maintenance on smart points, and 23 like our traditional, like freestyle that the rest of us have her traditional trying to lose. points. Yeah, so they're trying to lose. They're our very, freestyle points. Yes, which yeah, is funny. Which is funny. But I found my number. Yes, my did. number is twenty three freestyle, twenty six SP. SPs. So my maintenance number is, which if I was doing SPs, you know, right? Well, my yeah. F freestyle, my freestyle maintenance is twenty six. Yeah. So I'm right there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm right, right between those it, two. It, numbers. That number is actually a perfect number for that twenty six is my perfect. I I so my days. Workout is 26 SPs, 23 freestyle. So that's my, so those are my numbers. You're eating less than the freestyle numbers that's on your app. So you're eating like three points less. But, and you're losing minimally. Minimally. Are you using weeklies at all? No Have weeklies. Been, wow. uh, no, I won't say no weeklies every week. Generally no weeklies, but I won't say that every Cause week. Because you're, you're rolling over. Yes. The, yeah, because you're typically rolling over. So, uh, But I'm also hypothyroid, and occasionally I will throw in like, um, I might get a cup of coffee at Starbucks and that's, and that might take some weeklies, but I don't, mm -hmm. I, I don't use a ton of weeklies. And I never use all my weeklies. And I'm going to say, here's an example of how we will eat differently on plan. Yeah. Um, we when we go out, she has the freedom of doing some things that I won't do. Yeah. We went to verse watch with friends for brunch and whereas she got the cranberry nut oatmeal, oatmeal. it comes with a muffin, but she got a dry English muffin. muffin. That still for me was too many points. It's a lot. It's going to take a lot of my day. I wasn't doing it. But that would be okay for me. For her, it was okay and that's what she had. So that was a meal that I would go out kind of out of the box, out of what I normally yes. eat. Yes. I had two over easy eggs, which were delicious by the way. Mm -hmm. um, a large bowl of fruit. got the large fruit bowl, which was delicious by the way. And I got a ciabatta toast and I had sugar-free jelly packet right. in my purse and I had my sugar-free coffee creamer in my purse. Yeah. All was good and my, my right. meal was delicious. But I was, wouldn't, I normally don't do that every meal. That was a special meal. And because I'm on maintenance, you can have that freedom. I have that freedom. Where I'm like, I have to decide, no, because that's not going to work for me the rest of the day because I, right. I really need to lose this week. And I try not to. I, and I didn't want to short myself for dinner. Yes. I'm very conscious of, conscious of keeping within my range of numbers that I know I'm, that's, these are my numbers. Mm -hmm. I told you my numbers. That's where I try to live because I'm. I'm seems to be living there and it's working for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stay there. Yep. Yep. Now if I lose, like if I next week, if I end up losing what next, the following week, I might make an effort to get a Starbucks coffee, maybe eat, drink. Um, and she's talking the full latte. <laughs> yeah. The full and drink, um, maybe an extra protein shake or maybe eat a roll up like a Joseph's pita and a piece of turkey roll up just to get a little bit more in. So I might gain a little bit. Um, but I'm not, but I don't want to do that significant amount of food to gain because I don't want my body expectations to be eating more food. I'm good where I'm at. And you I'm feel like you're maintain. satisfied with what you're I'm eating. satisfied with what I'm eating and I don't want to get my, to be expecting more food all the time when I'm living here fine. I'm doing well. So I tend to put some calories in me with like a coffee at Starbucks that I normally wouldn't eat, you know, normally wouldn't drink. So I'm using that sometimes to, that works. to up me up a little bit. Yeah, that works. Okay. So this is my weekday. It's okay. Uber boring, but this is how I eat. I love my food. Um, so for breakfast, I might do the Sara Lee wheat bread, two slices. And on SPs, that's two for two slices. It's two SPs, two freestyle. Mm -hmm. For my Planners grape jam with fiber, it's a, a tablespoon and a half. It's two. It's zero SP and zero freestyle. So I have my breakfast is two and two. So for lunch, the ballpark white turkey franks, which I love. For two dogs, it's two SPs, two freestyle. Those are so good. They're the healthy life hot dog buns, very good. For two buns, it's five SP, five freestyle. And I am gonna say that the healthy life buns, Kroger is the only place I've ever found them. Yeah. Uh, my mustard is zero and zero because mm -hmm. I add mustard to it because I'm okay. a Cincinnati girl and that's what we do with yes. our conies. And then my Tasty Bites Madras, which I love the lentils, these lentils. The my oh. favorite thing in the world. Um, for two tablespoons, mm -hmm. it's two, um, two SPs and then two freestyle. And you can find those in the big boxes at Costco. Yes. And for my, I did not have a Weight Watchers barbecue chip, a bag of those, which is two SP and two SP. So that makes me a 10 and 10 for So you lunch. didn't have any freestyle foods in there, Missy. I didn't have any freestyle foods in there. Now dinner, I have a free, some, uh, two freestyle things. So I've got turkey breast, two ounces, 
SP one, if I'm counting as SPs, freestyle zero. Okay. Idaho and mashed potatoes, the microwave ones, very tasty, very creamy. Four and four. Corn, a half a cup, two and zero, because it's freestyle zero. So I've got a seven SP dinner or a four SP dinner. Okay. Now, again, it, Kim might not add this, but I might add like a piece of bread with my meal if I choose to. Um, now my snack is Quaker caramel corn rice cakes, I love which those. is four and for two of those, it's four and four freestyle smart those. points. Jif whips, mm -hmm. one tablespoon, two and two, so that's six points for the SPs and the freestyle. And fruit during the day, I might okay. eat a banana at ten o'clock. I mm -hmm. might eat grapes at two. Mm -hmm. um, just usually put some fruit in because I love fruit. Oh yeah. Um, so my total for the day SPs is twenty six. Okay. Freestyle twenty three. Those seem to be the numbers I live in because my other day, exact same thing. And that's generally how my days And I, I find that I live in a range both ways to a range of SP. Mine are exact. to a range of freestyle. Yep. Um, my, um, I'm going to start with your weekday. My weekday, I do the Premier Protein Shake for breakfast. Typically, even typically on the weekend. Unless it does there's hold something me going a long on. time. It does hold me a very long time. And I start my, I have breakfast at 6 a.m. At my desk so I it has to hold me for a while I um, typically do a banana around oh 9 30 10 o'clock um, that'll hold me till and then I'll kind of give me just a little extra and get me to lunch which is 12 12 30 so you're 2 SP and 2, 2 SP. SP lunch Aunt Millie's or the nature's own light bread mm -hmm. one or the other two mm -hmm. slices two and two mm -hmm. um, turkey um, one on SP zero freestyle mm -hmm. Uh, the Sargento Thin Provolone Slices, love those things. But one of those. It's one and one. Mm -hmm. um, they're delicious. And they I use good. the fat-free craft packets, mayonnaise packets. One of those packets is zero. Or and a jar that we have. Yeah, or the jar, yeah. <laughs> when I'm home, I use the jar. Um, just, it's a lovely turkey sandwich. It's it's plain and boring, and but she likes I it. I likes it. <laughs> I also last week made a chili there's no, no meat in here. Chili. Oh, not chili. Sorry, <laughs> veggie soup. It's there's no meat in here. Wow, that was funny because I normally do make chili in here. Uh huh. Um, and I just jarred him. I just went on and put um, zero SP veggie soup. Yeah. And just, there's tons. And I just grabbed one. I don't remember which yeah. one I grabbed because we make chili more often than we veggie do. Soup. And actually, this is so super. This was it was so good. And I just put him in here and called it a day. So with my turkey sam with my turkey sandwich, I had uh, one of those. So what I did so on SPs, I counted two points because they were veggie soup. Because on SPs, they're they're not free corn and peas. Um, so I counted two points just to cover bases. Okay, and then zero as far as freestyle. Mm -hmm. um, and then I had a took a bag of the Weight Watchers Nacho Crunchies. They're two and two, and I just you know during the week if I I did that. But lunch quite so good. your totals for your so your, I would have it maybe an hour later maybe yeah. in my crunchies yeah so your total for your lunch uh, my total let's see eight so you didn't add all your I didn't up. add mine up oh um I did the full adding at the no, end no you gotta add them individually Sorry. man Sorry. <laughs> um I and did then on freestyle it's what um five um, yes okay so I did um dinner I did a well, I eat an apple probably around 3, 30, 4 o'clock, so I'm not ravenous when I get home. Mm -hmm. And I did sweet, uh, like a medium, medium smallish, medium sweet potato, mm -hmm. four points. And I'll just, so it's four and I'll four. eat it, I'll eat it plain with a little bit of salt, or I'll use the reduced sugar ketchup. So, sugar I, ketchup, I, you know, yeah, I don't ketchup. have it, that accounted in here because I don't always do it. So, we're just going to count it as... Or spray butter. Or spray butter, spray butter and just... Sometimes I just like them with some salt and it's good. Sometimes I'm with ketchup. And I could have afforded ketchup on this day. Yeah. I could have. And um, I did. Two ounces of turkey. Two ounces of turkey, one and zero. Mm -hmm. And peas, two and zero. That's half a, half a, cup a cup of peas. Okay. So delicious. Um, so. What did you have for um, snacks? So seven points um, on um, SPs and a four. four point dinner on freestyle. Yep. Um, for snack, I did the sugar-free brownie, brownie that we make, oh, that we delicious. talked about, and I think it was the last video. Yeah, five SPs, and I did one point so of... So five and five. Yeah, five and five. One point of the um, fat-free Cool Whip. Two tablespoons. Two little tablespoons. So good. With um, one and one, with just a Hershey's sauce, the, the light, light chocolate sauce. Chocolate sauce. Um, the light one. I can't do the sugar-free. It doesn't agree with my stomach. Yeah. So I do the light, and it's one and one, and I just do a skosh. A little drizzle it gives a little something, something. So your totals, my are, totals are twenty four SPs. So I'm, I'm sorry, my snack was seven. Yeah, seven seven. Um, twenty four SPs, 
18 freestyle. Okay. So, and I've discovered I typically live between um, SP's 2426. It's knowing 18, your number. 20 freestyle. And yep. I just, if I live in there, I'm good. Yep. And I don't use, typically don't use my weeklies. And sometimes yeah. I'll roll over and I may have a day where I do 27, but I had another day where I did 18. Yeah. So I might do 26, 27 on another day. Yeah. Um, and that works out. It yeah. Kinda, I just kind of watch it. Yep. Now for a weekend. Oh, can I one say real quick? Yeah. If you're double tracking, obviously something like this. Yeah. They gave us when we started Smart Points. It has all the food points. This is helpful if you have it and you go, oh yeah, I've got that. Pull it out if it'll help you. Yep. Because it's really helped me figure out my numbers in general. And yeah, and my has. SP has. freestyle numbers are very close. Yeah. I mean, mine are right there and I live within these. So I know my number. You do. And I think I way. figured mine out too, but I still continue to double track because I still, I, I don't have the confidence yet. I'm not and having the confidence I don't double yet. track. I just track. She just did it for us. Yeah, I did it for Today. Her. Um, for breakfast. Um, for a weekend, I might have, okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make French toast out of Sara Lee bread. So I'm gonna use three slices of bread. Mm -hmm. And the three slices are, is it two? No, I'm no, gonna, no, you put two slices. I did two, so I'm sorry, two slices of uh, Sara Lee. Can't you read your own writing? I know. Two slices of Sara Lee bread. Of course, one egg goes into that. And then like cinnamon, mm -hmm. orange extract maybe, a fourth a cup of carb master. So the bread is two and two, the egg is two, zero on freestyle half fourth a cup of carb master is zero and zero in freestyle yum cinnamon orange extract scotia cinnamon zero of course zero and zero log cabin sugar-free uh syrup we've talked about that in the past for a fourth of cup it's one one sp and one on freestyle so that's basically the breakfast was a five sp breakfast but a three but a three freestyle, um, freestyle. Yeah. for lunch I had pot belly. I love pot belly. That's one of my favorite sandwich places. Sometimes I go to Subway, but pot belly seems to be my favorite. I'm trending yeah, on I it like right now. Belly. Me too. And I get a TKY, which they haul out the bread so there's not as much bread. And they lighten the cheese. Lighten the cheese. You can ask for the, you, you can get the light, even the light turkey, or you can say, I want the same amount of turkey as in the regular, the one, regular but one, skinny cheese, skinny bread. Yes. So, and that's usually eight SPs, eight freestyle. So kind of, I live right there on both of them. And that's pretty much all I'll eat. That's a, a sandwich is enough for me. Mm -hmm. And then for dinner, I yep. might do a, I'm gonna do a two ingredient dough pizza. So what I did was a gold nettle flour, SPs, it's five, mm -hmm. five freestyle. And then the half a cup of the Faye yogurt Greek non-fat. Mm -hmm. It is one SP. I did the zero freestyle. Contadina pizza sauce, the squeezable stuff. Or you can use the daily dose of pepper. Zero. If you've got we use the fridge. both. We, we use both. Depending on where we're at, if I'm out of one, I do the other. I was out, so I use the contadina. So a third third cup for the sauce, two SP, mm -hmm. two freestyle. Hormel turkey pepperoni, 12 slices, one SP, and then one mm -hmm. freestyle. My craft fat free cheese, half a cup, one SP, one freestyle. So that ends up being a for dinner, that big piece of pizza, mm -hmm. that big pizza, it's big, is 10 smart points, but nine freestyle, because I, I kept some points on my yogurt. Yeah. Now, for a snack that night, I had three Alyssa's, no, I had Alyssa's cookies, two Alyssa's cookies. For two Alyssa's cookies, it's three, and then three. And then for fruit during the day, I mm -hmm. had a banana or an apple, like one in the morning, one in the afternoon. That's general. And again, yep. sometimes, you know, so th for that is 26 SPs. 23 freestyle, freestyle exact same as my last meal i just end up there because that those ends up that's my number yeah. now sometimes if i'm on one of those days and i feel like i need a little more yeah and um out you know i you know talk about getting a joseph pita which is one sp and then throwing a little bit of turkey on it roll it up and eat it and sometimes if i feel like i need a little protein with my grapes when i'm having grapes or something i'll do something like that other Which than that I that's want generally what i eat i wouldn't have done it really in the past because i was in losing mode but I mm -hmm. might add that to my grape snack in the afternoon just yeah. to up my protein for one and to get another mm -hmm. point in. Um, my weekend today, um, I still did for breakfast my premier shake, um, two and two. Because mm -hmm. um, on this day, actually, I knew I was eating out. Um, and I didn't know really what I was going to get because there's some, I know this place, I'm familiar with it, and there's yeah. options. I mean, so some of my options are more points than others. So I was like, I'm going to give myself some leftover points for that just in case. So I did the Joseph's Pita, the little ones where there's, and I did two of them, and that's two points, so two and two. 
um, a tablespoon of the Jif Whips, because it's a little mm -hmm. small pitas, and it's two and two, and the Polaner Grape um, Sugar-Free um, Jelly, mm -hmm. tomato peanut butter and butter jelly. Peanut butter um, and jelly. Yeah, a tablespoon of that, um, zero and zero. Yum. And I just had 38, a serving of 38 veggie straws with it, which is four and four. So it's delicious. You um, did a premier shake again. See, I shook my up. That's typically what I do. So, <laughs> so that's just, up. I had to do it. Because that's, I really don't variate a whole lot from that. Um, so eight points for my lunch, which mm -hmm. was good. Um, so it was, it, it was equal SP and freestyle. Yes. So okay. we ate out and it was somewhere that we have that's local. And I opted to do the salad, which you get this big plate. And I get the mixed greens. They do black beans on it, so mm -hmm. two and zero for the black beans. Mm -hmm. um, they add chicken. I guess a chicken, grilled so chicken three on small it. Points. Three and zero. Zero, yeah. Uh -huh. And I did the corn on top of it, which is two and zero. Mm -hmm. And then I took my own dressing, which is the skinny girl. And yes. I, I got salsa on it, but sometimes the salsa is not always is. So I take it with me just in case, and I'll check check myself. If I feel like it needs something, something, I might add a little dressing. bit of that dressing, which is okay. zero. Zero, zero, and zero. Okay. Now, I did add there, they have the best chips. Oh, they're my gosh. They're very it's, distinct. It's, it's, if you've they're, ever come to Cincinnati and you haven't eaten habaneros, go eat it there. It just has <laughs> a, they're almost like a tortilla slash pita slash. They're just very oh. different. The now the chips align. I are counted worth it. the eight tortilla chips and the eight four yeah. because they're big. So, so I counted four. eight of them, even though there I ate four. four of them. Because they're big. Um, and they I counted like three points for those. So that's three and three. You know, three and three. So I just took the shot. So what's your total for each? Uh, let's see. Ten. So it's basically yeah. ten and three. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and that's the thing to consider when you're really thinking yeah. you're double tracking. Yeah. Is if I'm SPs, this is 10. Yeah. If I'm freestyle, it's three. Ooh, that's a big discrepancy. So that's so, kind of where when you're I double tracking. Because I a lot of freestyle in that meal. But in her total at the end, you see her numbers aren't that far apart. Though. Yes. The end of the day. Yeah. I did, for a snack later that night, I did a Halo Top, a cup of the Halo Top strawberry. Mm -hmm. um, five points. Five SP, five and five. Yeah. And then I added a Scotia, the Hershey's Light Sauce, which it's is one and one. one. Mm -hmm. And of course, during, I'm sure during the day, I think that was the day I did a banana and apple again, um, yep. or grapes. I, I always choose something like that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I track the fruits, and sometimes I actually don't. I mean, because it's I just know typical there's going in your to be day. Two, two pieces of fruit. It's going to happen. Yeah. And so um, your day was 26, 26 SPs and 19 freestyles. So, so her only variation really is yeah is you're 24 and 18 before now you're 26 and 19 so you know that you live i live this space. like 24 sps 26 sps and 18 to 20 freestyle if i kind of keep those two going it seems that seems to be the most effective for me yeah that it's i'm getting there with it. and you're really not eating your weeklies um, no, no, I'm I not, probably I'm, eat, I'm actually, I, not, I don't eat them every week, but I probably because I eat am more rolling than over. I'm rolling over. So I end up extras. I, I'm just over. not. Yeah. I, my body just doesn't work that way. I, I, there I'm are, a hypothyroid. Well, there are days that I do like, maybe I'll eat, you know, tw you know, if I'm tracking, I'm looking at just look SPs just to give you the, the mental thing. Yeah. Say there's some days I'll have 27 you know, or 28 SPs, but then there's other days I'll do 23 or 24 SPs. So they just, so balance. they kind of like balance each other out. So they go back and forth with the, with the, but it stays pretty much within your, so I don't end up losing my, by range. the end, I still have all my weekly left, sometimes a little more. Yeah. Sometimes maybe a couple more. Okay. So I end up kind of like up and down just depending on the day. Yep. It's crazy. So that's kind of where we, kind of how we live within our points. It is. Usually my weekends might be a little more than, but I, but man, it's pretty I'm true. pretty much, all, my, and my range is pretty tight. 26 and 23, 26 and 23 yeah. just seems to be. And you don't eat a, really a ton more. You just may do a little extra something that a I don't. A little extra something that you don't. Which is why you have a little loss and you have to Well, sometimes it works. Like, you know, we're doing, this is one of the examples of, of the difference between maintenance. Kim might say, okay, with this turkey sandwich, I'm going to have four SPs of veggie straws. I might decide I want to have five SPs of veggie straws and I'll go over. Yeah. You know, it's, it's little that's, things. It's little things. Throughout and I, the day. Try and I Cause I try not to significantly increase my food. Because, especially if you're satisfied. Because it's, I'm satisfied and it's working. I'm maintaining. So I'm kind of, it, that's what I've had to do is kind of find how I can mm -hmm. live. And it's usually the, a point here and a point there. It's not significant unless 
if I start really losing and feeling like I'm getting too because, low, again, I'll start drinking a Starbucks. Well, you actually <laughs> ate out a lot last week. I did eat so out a lot last week. So you were concerned week. that you actually gained. I thought because it was out of my norm, mm -hmm. because I don't normally eat out almost every yeah. day. Every can, day I ate out. You go to local places where you're tracking, you yes. think you're right. Yes, and I, man, and I still lost. Yeah. So it's like, but I'm very conscious mm -hmm. of you know, you get to a point now after these many years, I know when I'm satisfied and I'm just going to be satisfied with what yeah. I'm eating. I'm not yeah. going to eat more. Just works. Yeah. Okay. So other Crazy. than that, you know, that's kind of how we eat. We eat a little boring, but we do, we, do we, we go through phases. I mean, like, yeah, here's, here's a, I thought, never yeah. thought Kodiak would be something that wasn't really in our, haven't had a lot of those. Haven't lately. had that in a while, but we love it. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of other things have replaced it. Like the two ingredient dough is like the new fave. Mm -hmm. You know, and we and typically that's, don't do it more than once a week, typically though. No, but we, we have done it before a couple times. Yeah. But it's because it's very versatile. We avoid doing it on Friday. Being able to make like rolls or make garlic bread yeah. sticks or yeah. being able to make a calzone or to be able to do a little pop tart with there's i mean the, the two ingredient dough is very yeah. i'm a fan it's flexible it can be almost anything and if you really go out there and search youtube and or, you know only, go to instagram you'll find a lot of people really pushing it the only boundaries. thing we have not tried mm -hmm. is the mexican pizza yeah, we have not made our pizza mm -hmm. a Mexican pizza. That's gonna happen. We haven't this done week. it yet. <gasps> That's happening this week. We have. Can't believe you haven't thought about it. It's not that I haven't thought about it. I'm just so I'm enjoying the regular pizza. pizza. Yeah. That. I, but I need. I need that now. All our base is gonna be refried beans. Well, we I was like, planning on having pizza for dinner. <laughs> oh, we're having Mexican pizza tonight. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> <laughs> it's on. Alrighty. So I hope that helps. I mean, it's you know you got to think about you know. Please make sure when you're planning mm -hmm. your food that you put things in that you enjoy. That you like. Don't trying to when you feel like you have to eat this because it's it's there are there are foods out there. I feel like I've learned to love certain things I might not have loved before. I used to swear I would never like sugar free jelly and or sweet potatoes. I love or sweet them. potatoes for that matter. So yeah. it's it's finding things mm -hmm. that you love because if you're not satisfied with your food, mm -hmm. you you want more. And I do want to share. You, I do. I do have one food share. Oh, you do? I do. I oh, do I do too. Them. I have another one. Kim found this and she decided to get it for, um, it's this tor Toriani. I don't know if anybody's ever bought this before. It's, you can find it at It's like a sugar-free liquid and it's like, this one's English toffee and you can put it in cheesecake. I've seen them at TJ Maxx, but I also, we, you can really get world them market. if you have a world market. We don't have one anymore. Unless you go to Columbus, area. which we did. Yes. Um, but you can put this in coffee. You can mm -hmm. put it in, was the cheesecake Maybe the, the WW Pound Dropper, her, her the cheesecake. cheesecake. Maybe you could add a little bit of that for flavor. And they had a bunch I've not tried it in it, but you could try We've it. tried it in coffee. Oh, yeah. And it's English toffee. This one's English toffee. Yeah. There's plenty so of different flavors. We talked about how we have a, 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 a new love and appreciation for the Oh, my potato. gosh. We're on it. And I found these at Walmart. They're mi microwavable. You just microwave the they're entire bag. cheese. And they're che steamable sweet potatoes. They're not big. So they're tiny ones. So you could probably eat if you needed to. Two. Some of the little ones, really little ones, eat two of them. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to make them for the week, they would be great to take to lunch. Yeah, they're just these with little... some turkey. And they um, are so potato. sweet and they're delicious. They're so good. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, a huge, fan. Huge, huge fan. Yeah, and you pop them in the microwave. And they're how long was it? Was it eight, it's eight minutes? Eight minutes. The entire ready. bag. Ready and eight minutes. They are so oh good. Oh my gosh. And they're, they're fake. Sometimes they're, you get them and they're just so big. Yeah. This is and so I buy better. those too because I love a sweet, big sweet potato open, too. And we'll still. half it. We've halved ours before. But this is awesome. But again, that's something that I oh, never sorry. used to like. They are by Simply Perfect. Oh, it's, and they're called Sweet, sweet steamers. steamers. So Simply yeah. Perfect. And I found them at Walmart. Yeah. And but they also had different kinds of other potatoes in, yeah. this, in the same manner. Yeah. So but yeah. it was something that we both never really ate mm -hmm. a lot of or really cared for yeah. until we did this and we really found that it was something that we loved. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we love be potatoes. open to trying. Hello. I know. How and do we not think we would like this? Hello. Sweet, sweet the potatoes. Who? Yeah. Really? Okay. Maybe <laughs> it had something to do with the fact that they were orange. I don't know. You know that? I can't figure that out. But anyway. Just... Anywho, we found out we love them. We do. So we're sorry that we went way over. We today. went way over, but we had we so much do. to say. We did have a lot um, to say today. So we will see you next week. Yes. Later. Later. Bye. Bye.